In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at the Video Collage Designer. It's one of those features in our first looks of PowerDirector 16. This is a new feature that does not exist in any of the earlier versions of PowerDirector. We'd like to introduce you to it as we begin to look under the hood of PowerDirector 16. So in order to get to this tool, we click on the area in the media room above the top. It's called our plugins. And I'll click that with the left mouse button. And then I'll click Video Collage Designer. And it gives me several screens. I have all my media on the left side. And I can import more by clicking on this button if I want to. And then I have my major design screen here with player controls that you're familiar with. I have at the top uh, a host of layouts. There are 30 to pick from. And each of these layouts uh, includes sound and also has some other features that we'll talk about in a moment. And then we have a button up here on the playback settings. We'll get to that in a moment. And then below that, we have a control for the border. Now notice I can uncheck it and the border disappears. I can check it. I can control the size of the border by using the slider. I also can control the color of the border. I click here. It'll take me to my color window and I can choose any color I like to be the new color for my border. And so now I've changed it to a hot pink here. When it comes to frame animation, I can say it will, should animate from the beginning. It should animate during the closing or I can turn the animation off. Likewise, I can match uh, collage duration to the longest clip that I put on the screen, the shortest clip, or I can just pick a clip by number if I have more than two. If I don't want the longest one or I don't want the shortest one, I want so another one, I can do that. But let me show you just a little bit about how to get started with this. Well, we'll take another lesson because it's a little bit complicated. I'll just run through, uh, move to a couple that are not quite so complicated here. Uh, looks like you can have up to seven different images on any particular screen. Uh, let's go with this one here. So now I have uh, these items, these numbered cells, if you will, in the layout. And I can drop a picture or a video uh, to any of these particular cells. So let's go ahead and start. Let's take a video and drag and drop it to cell number one. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can trim the video. Uh, you, can t uh, you can impact the sound on the video. You can turn it off if you want to. You can also take the uh, mouse and you can move the part of the video that's visible in that box. You can move it up or down, left or right. So these are the options that you have. You can also magnify and uh, or reduce. So if I just want the waterfall, I'll leave it like that. So this is what I can do with this particular video. It also tells me the length of the video, which is an important piece of information to use. Now I'm going to take another video. Let's take these two folks on the bike bikes and put that in the second uh, frame here. And now I can do the same thing. I can uh, adjust the height, the width, uh, the magnification. I can also take, if you, you notice I hover my mouse over any of these areas here, I get the double headed arrow. I can actually resize it. I can give that video a little more room and this one a little less room. Likewise, I can do this to a limited degree with the ones at the bottom. I can move them up and I can adjust a little bit over here. Um, again, this, this handles the entire horizontal area, not just the segment above the number six. So you've got some limited uh, cell design uh, sizes that you can do depending on how that particular layout was designed for you. So I can take this one here and I'll just put a little picture in number three, drag and drop. And to make this go quicker, I'll just put pictures in these below here. I'll take five and we'll put our, our common balloon one and six. 
and then we'll take one more and we'll take the um let's see if i find another simple picture here sunrise and put that in number four okay now when i'm all done here uh, there is a, an, another option here with a clock. When I click on the clock, it will tell me how long that will play. So if I'm going to start out with this one and make sure nothing else moves until this one is finished, I might want it on for not seven seconds. I might want it on for maybe uh, four seconds. So I can control the timing of the still images uh, as well as looking at uh, which of the actual videos I want to uh, adjust. So we'll go ahead and play this. Now what it's going to do when we play it is it will show me uh, the, all the presets on how it begins to start. Now we'll just leave it from beginning to the longest clip for now. We'll show you more adjustments in the next lesson. Let me just play it. And now we have it playing and the videos here are videos without sound so um, we don't have anything going on there but uh, that is how it, how it, it, it begins and they're doing their thing on the bike and the water is coming down the waterfall and so it's, it's not a bad option there okay now we'll stop it uh, before we finish this lesson I'm going to click on the the box to stop it we can change one more setting right now we have um, uh, start clip with frame animation and this one doesn't have a lot of animation but the playback is all at once in the next lesson what we're going to do is change some of these options so you can see how that adjusts it now when you're completely done with this you click on OK and what it will do it will take uh, that particular item and drop it directly into your timeline um, and so I'm going to go ahead and play it and there's my frame animation coming in on a preset. I can't control that, but uh, this is what it looks like when you place it in. Now, if you want multiple frames with different animations, all you have to do is repeat the process as many times as possible, and then you will begin to build multiple collages for your project. But we'll deal with some more details in the next exercise.